Hey folks, taking a look at the Datsun Roadster today, got a little bit of an investigation to do before we uh, do some other things. Uh, this is my 1970 Datsun 2000 Roadster. Um, so today we are going to take a look at um, the cylinder head actually. We, I need to uh, take a look inside to see if the previous owner um, kept the stock uh, head bolts on or replaced with studs so I know what I'm getting into when I do remove this head um, reason I do need to remove the head is I need to fix the plug that is broken down here you can see that this guy right here should not look like that it should look like that but there's a brass plug in there that I could not get out due to it basically breaking off and stripping. And the only way to get that out as far as I can tell now, I have tried a lot of things, heating it up, uh, using a, um, a punch to try to, to twist it out. Um, I can't really drill any further in um, to get like an extractor in there. Um, due to the plug itself is actually hollow on the other side. Um, so I'm afraid that if I drill any further in, it's just gonna drop brass shavings into my cylinders and that would not be pleasant. So next option I have is to remove the head, drill out the plug then, and um, reinsert the real um, new plug in there. And these are actually, um, smog inlet or outlet uh, um, orifices that uh, no longer used so we put these plug in plugs in um, to eliminate um, a little bit of a, a chirping resonance that comes through the cylinder head um, kind of makes the car sound like a, a spaceship out of the Jetsons a little chirpy chirpy chirp every every time the uh, cylinder fires so I got three out of four, and I have another video on that, and you can see that debacle. Um, the first three were great. This last one, not so much. So today I do want to take this uh, head cover off, uh, valve cover off, and check to see the status of the head bolts to see if they are studs or the stock bolts. Because that will determine what I need to order as far as replacements. I will need to order uh, another gasket, etc. Um, but I do want to know what I'm getting into. So I'm going to set you up here as we take the valve cover off and you can see what's going on. So is it me or are Evaporust and Mountain Dew the exact same thing? Can you tell the difference? All right, so first things first, we are going to get some of these accessories out here. Oil filler cap. And this return line to the carb. And let's undo the throttle cable, at least out of that clip. And here is the vacuum advance line to the, to the distributor. Let's get that guy out of there. And we just have these two valve cover bolts on top. Um, they shouldn't be too tight. I did loosen them just a little bit before. So we can get these out of here and, and see what's inside. We'll put that there. Get it that guy. And this valve cover I can feel is already loose. That's good. Alright, let's try not to get snagged on this throttle cable. Alright, and there we go. So now I can see in, had our camshaft and our 
valves, valve springs, timing chain at the front. And if we look in here, here are our head bolts. We got five on this side, five on this side. Um, taller ones on the driver's side, which hold in the the uh, cam brackets here. And we see there are these are hex head bolts, which are the stock bolts that uh, came with this motor, this U20 motor, um, to start. So. I think I am going to switch over to studs, which I have read uh, end up being a little bit more resilient. You don't have to replace them. These bolts tend to stretch from what I've heard, so we will change these out. So we'll get studs that go in and nuts that go on top. And those are made by ARP, sold by a bunch of different places. Um, and should get us going as we replace this head. So I've already sprayed down all of these uh, intake nuts, exhaust nuts with a PV blaster and hopefully those come off pretty easily. All those have to come out to get the head off. We'll uh, get the timing chain disconnected from the cam and it should be pretty simple and straightforward. I do need to order a, a head gasket as well. We'll get that swapped out as well. And I think also on the list for this spring will be a new distributor and coil. We'll go with the electronic distributor and, uh, and uh, a full um, 12 volt uh, coil. So right now, as far as I know, you know, these coils run um, actually 8 volts and there's a resistor underneath uh, way over there. There's the coil you can see out of the corner there and a ballast resistor that drops the voltage from the ignition and then um, so that's the stock, uh, ignition setup. So we will replace that with, a, a newer Nissan setup that'll give us a little bit better spark and a little, a lot more reliability than the point setup that's already here. All right. So, uh, I think that's going to do it. Looks pretty good in here. I don't see anything uh, troublesome. Looks pretty solid. Cams look nice and smooth. No wear marks. So, uh, looks great. Alright, so uh, I'll let you know how we get on. We'll make another video once we get into this head more. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.